Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Dave Downey. Thanks for checking out WeAreIowa.com. Boy, did we get a lot of rain overnight here in the capital city, and we needed it with the drought conditions out there. Almost three inches of rain at Des Moines International Airport in the past 24 hours. Similar uh, numbers across the area. Let's take a trip around the state right now to see what happened yesterday in terms of rainfall totals. A little bit less in the rainfall category up north. Half an inch in gold and Goldfield. About a, about the same story in Fort Dodge. About the same story as well as uh, in Algona. Central Iowa saw most of the rain. Radar estimated three inches in Des Moines. Not too far off the actual estimate or the actual reading at Des Moines International Airport. Two inches in Winterset. Same value right about that in Indianola. Also two inches near Sheraton. An inch and a half in Corydon and also an inch and a half in Central. So we needed the rain and we got it. Air quality index is still not that great today. We're in the moderate here in the capital city. It gets worse out to the north and to the west. That's why there's an air quality alert in effect for the northwestern corner of the state. It's out of our viewing area, but places like Sioux City, they're in the air quality alert today because of the unhealthy smoke out there. We're in the moderate category, two out of five on the on the air quality uh, level there. It's going to get a little bit worse tonight into tomorrow. We'll track that right now with the smoke future cast. Here's 2 a.m. tomorrow morning, and then we'll roll through on the second half of the day on Sunday. And actually, we're going to get a little bit of a break from it. it looks like most of the smoke is going to stay in western uh, Minnesota as well as eastern South Dakota. And I think that's going to, it looks like it's going to feed down a little bit our way there on that Monday afternoon, but it shouldn't be as bad as what we saw yesterday and the day before. Future cast will stop it here. Here's the last round of showers associated with the cold front that came through overnight. A very, I mean, you see this by future cast, a very isolated coverage, quick sprinkle at best with this. That'll move off towards the south and look at Sunday. It almost looks like the model isn't working because that's how nice Sunday is going to be. A couple clouds out there tomorrow, but overall Sunday is going to be an absolutely gorgeous day. A ton more you folks down in the southeast uh, portion of the state might see a few more clouds, but no rain in the forecast for Sunday. July rainfall, we got almost six inches during the entire month of July. Almost half of that came in the past three days. You saw last week we had about two weeks of a dry stretch. That created the drought conditions, and luckily that changed a little bit last night. Lower 60s tonight. We're going to see upper 50s in the 10-day forecast here in a minute. Nice night to start opening the windows. You're going to get several nights like that in the next few days. Dew point drop with that cold front coming in. Lots of sun tomorrow. A beautiful, gorgeous, awesome day. No matter how you really want to say it, tomorrow is going to be an awesome day. Temperatures in the lower 80s. Now looking forward to when the state fair starts. Here's the temperature outlook for the 8 to 14 day time frame. Look at this almost like a matter of chance. It looks like we're being the above average category for temperatures around the start of the state fair. Of course, that starts in under two weeks. Your whole plumbing heating 10 day forecast a slow rise in temperatures the next seven to 10 days. But then look at those readings Monday and Tuesday morning in the upper 50s. Seasonable though Tuesday, Wednesday, 30 highs in the mid 80s. Close to 90 by the weekend. That's when the next rain chance arrives Sunday and a Monday. Looks like we're going to stay dry for the majority of the work week ahead.